Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. So this is my smalls table. I have my two commissions over here, including these two labradoodles. Now I last week prepped this surface by priming it, transferred my image, and I barely got started just on one eye. So I would like to finish both eyes and the nose on the little guy and both eyes and the nose on the big guys. The eyes and the nose are the trickiest parts for me, so I do them first. And this project is gonna be a lot of tweezer work. So that's the goal this week. If I get further, it's a super bonus. Now the dragonfly I got pretty far on because I got carried away when I started these wings because they were looking so great. I really did simplify these quite a bit. And once I get the grout in there, the, the top is gonna be red and the bottom will be black. The body will be black and the background will be black grout. Then I think those wing segments are really gonna pop. So I, I got really excited and finished all those, got them placed and pulled some Millifiori for the background that's gonna go in with the green. The palette is right there for the background. And my palette for this one is pulled over here. So even though I haven't gotten very far, I did pull the palette because I needed some of the browns for the eyes. So that's good to go. I still have these things peeking at me in case I get stuck and need something else to work on. This one I need to probably crank out when I'm done with these two. Now I have this oddball on my workbench because it's been in my garage and I kept climbing over it and then I finally knocked it over accidentally and broke it. So I'm so irritated with myself. It's the base of a bird bath and I'm just gonna put it in my garden. I'm not gonna, had no plans to mosaic it, but I had been doing a lot of garden work so I was ready to get it out there. And then uh, what do you know, I broke it. So it's, a, it's hollow and I am going to repair it by filling in. I'm gonna do the repair work mostly on the inside. Maybe I can fill these cracks and then I'm gonna put it in my garden and I'm not gonna touch it or move it. And if we swing around over here, I did get started on these red flowers. There are, it's not just red flowers right here. I have them in three places on this mosaic. There's some over here and some up here. This is also kind of a priority because it's taking up the whole table and I need to move it so that I can put one of the commissions over here and have more space. I wanna put the dog commission over here so I can spread out a little bit. I'm either gonna take it off or I'm gonna knock it out and then get it off this table so I have more space. There's these things, I haven't touched them. Where does the time go? That's all for now. Forgot to update you on my son's face he's working on. Uh, got started on one of the other sides. He's just gonna put Melifiori in the grass. So I got out some of my Mele for him to choose from. And we'll hopefully he'll make progress this week. I hope he finishes this side at least. I just wanna show really quickly uh, how I clean up. After I finish the flowers, I have a little whisk room. And I think I spent all of one dollar on it at the dollar store. If there are any bigger pieces, I can look through my dustpan and see if I want to save them. Maybe something as big as this or as long as this is worth saving. Otherwise, I just throw all that out. And then I'm not finished because there are some shards on here that are very difficult to see. And those are the ones that give you the cuts at my secret weapon, my vacuum. And I just run that over it. That's it. I think I showed you all this template, which is a key last week. I just want to point out the flowers that I just did were from this area, these four and it says dark red. So since I got the red pulled and I wanna keep it the same for the whole mosaic, I'm gonna knock out the other red flowers, which are over here. And again, up here, 
And as these things go, I just want to point out that these say that they're yellow. I don't think so. I think they're red because the sunflowers are yellow. So I'm making them red. I don't care what the key says. little house that I made last week that I sort of fell in love with and so I decided to make another one with the similar colors um, here it is a little bit uh, brighter pop of blue but this one has something super special about it Here's the broken bird bath. I've mixed up some paltia and packed it on the inside. And now I can put it in my garden. I decided to put it at the very back of my yard. It's pretty short. There's my dog, she's also little. And that's putting it together. See you next time.